Hey guys, Jimmy H here with Jimmy H Investing. Thanks for tuning in again. I just checked in into uh, Vegas here, Cinco de Mayo. See, Cinco de Mayo, Las Vegas. Um, so the topic of today is why are we stuck in the middle class? Um, this topic came up in my mind when I was on the flight over here. And there's five top reasons why I think we're, we, and me in general, me included, I mean, so why the middle class? We're always stuck in the middle class. Why can't we achieve higher than the middle class, meaning financial freedom and then being rich and whatnot, right? Most of us are in the middle class, right? And there's five reasons that I came up with. There's a ton more, but uh, the top five reasons, in no particular order. Um, here's number one for me. Number one would be um, keeping up with the Joneses. We're too busy trying to keep up with everybody else, right? My neighbor has a new car, I gotta go get one. My neighbor has a new watch, I gotta go get one. My neighbor has a new iPhone, I gotta go get one. Or my coworker, my friends, my cousins, my family members. Anybody who has something new, you wanna go get one just to have the same or top them, right? What's the use? Um, why spend your hard earned money to get the new the latest gadget or the latest trend when you are perfectly fine with the one you have now, right? I don't particularly uh, keep up the Joneses. I don't really care uh, what people think of my stuff. My stuff is fine the way I use it, and I'm happy the way it is. Yes, I'll upgrade when I need to, but I'm not gonna upgrade just because somebody else have the latest and greatest thing. So keeping up with the Joneses is not one of my flaws and one of my issues. But I know a lot of us has that issue as a middle class citizen. Um, we always try to keep up with the Joneses, right? So that's number one. Number two, it's staying at the same job. Uh, once again, I don't have this issue. I changed job eight times already, ever since I graduated uh, college. And I stay at a job typically three years max. Uh, when I say job, meaning a position. I could be with the same company, but change position, change, change title and whatnot. Uh, so I have th eight different positions already throughout my career. And per Pretty much every time I change a position, I get a 15 to 20% bump in salary. So, so if you think about it, eight times, that's a lot of bump in salaries. If you stay at the same job, yeah, you might get a 5% increase every year. And maybe lucky you get 8% increase. But, you know, the economy is up and down, so you don't always get the percent increase. Sometimes you get less than 5%. But when you switch job, you tend to get a bump in increase or you won't switch anyway, right? So staying at the same job is another issue that I think why most people stay at a certain level in salary wise and doesn't get achieve higher salary to get out of the middle class stage. All right, so uh, that's number two. Number three is middle class citizens don't value themselves as much when it comes times to pay bills. They don't pay themselves first. So that's a mistake that I know a lot of people had. I, early in my career, had the same mistake. I always get my paycheck, pay all my bills, expenses, and whatnot first, and then if I have any extra left over, if any, I draw it out in the saving account, right? I no longer do that. So every check I get now, I put $250 away. I get paid bi-weekly, so that means I put $500 away. Uh, when I say I put away, I basically just put in a sa simple saving account. I know, I know, no interest rate at all, I know. but. I only keep up to $3,000. So that is $500 a month times six months, which is half a year, I get $3,000. And once I reach that $3,000 limit, um, I use that $3,000 to do investment, um, which rolls into my number four. Middle class citizen doesn't invest a, enough. All we really do is maybe 401k throughout employer, maybe IRA, Roth, I don't know, but that's not really investing in my mind investing is actually actively going buying stocks um, if you're into day trading and whatnot actively go looking for rental properties if you're act if you're interested in real estates uh, buying bitcoins silver gold you know those kind of investment um, index funds yes it's considered an investment but you're not really doing anything you're passively investing in those right um, so that's that rolls into number four, right? Not investing. And number five, we always spend our money dining out, eating out, entertainment, right? Entertainment is a lot. Uh, I eat out once a week, every Friday. I give my family a, a night out, uh, my kids and my wife, 
and myself, only four of us, we dine out every Friday night. And that's good enough for me. Four times a month is good enough for me. Um, some might say that's excessive. Some might say that's too little. But for us, it's perfect. Once a week is good. Um, and, and we're happy with that. Um, so, I mean, those are the top five reasons I've, that I thought of when I was, you know, thinking about this topic. But like I say, of course, there's plenty more. If you guys want to add more in the comments below, go ahead. But, um, but those are the top five reasons why I think we're usually stuck in the middle class. And to get out of the middle class, we need to start eliminating those tr those issues and get, getting away of those traps, getting away with those traps. All right, guys, so thanks for tuning in. I don't want to keep this video too long. It's already past five minutes, and I'm going to go enjoy Vegas for a little bit. I just came back from my business meeting, and now I'm kind of free. So um, thanks for tuning in again. And if you like this video, thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. Sub if you want and unsub if you want to as well. All right, guys, until the next video, catch you all later.